Hello, and welcome to episode 7, part 3 of my Caesar 4 tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on us finishing the Narbo campaign. Yes, I know it's been three episodes, but the campaigns do get harder, more difficult, and longer. So, you'll remember leaving off from the last episode that Caesar... Now a favour with Rome must rise for the prestige of our city. Basically, I've nailed the culture, the security, the prosperity, and the population. The only one left to do is the favour, and that's where the difficulty comes in with this campaign. Although it's not really difficult, um, if you once you learn to juggle everything. At the moment, Our city I'm just, needs more workers. I'm just waiting to get two of my insulin up to max level. Then that takes care of the the uh, jobs for the equitets and the um, plebs. I don't have to do any more houses, that's taken care of. Going to um, the Imperial... Rome considers your efforts to be mediocre. Imperial, remember Caesar has asked for 100 timber. So you'll remember what I've done is in resources... There are I've, trade routes available that could be advantageous to our city. I've set the timber to stockpile, so basically the crafters aren't going to use the timber, it's just going to build up until I've got a hundred. I've got 48 so far, so all is well, I'm getting there. Now, that's, I'm just, so I'm waiting for one, these insuli, let's show you them. So I've got a couple of insuli that I'm waiting to evolve. That one, this one is evolving, that gets us then more than enough workers well just enough it's a perfect amount of workers once these both get to max level as you will see so we're just waiting for that now also you'll remember that i've started making weapons because i know that uh, caesar is going to soon start demanding weapons also something else that's going to be coming upon us in this campaign to make it difficult is that we're going to get a horde of barbarians come to uh, invade us. Now you're going to see how I deal with that but uh, suffice to say we're going to need denarii. Um, because there's no, we have no, I'm not going to use the weapons to make forts and soldiers. I'm going to send them off to Caesar. Okay, here we go. So here's a bit of uh, Jupiter's wrath. One of the gods not happy with us. Nothing we can do about that because we don't have enough to build two shrines. It would disrupt everything. So two buildings have got destroyed. Important to check what buildings they are. So the food market. And what building? Oh, just a um, donuts. So then both both them buildings we need to sort out. So what I'm gonna do is pause it. Actually no, I'll keep it running. Right. And quickly replace both them buildings. Especially, as you can appreciate, the food market. Because without that no one gets fed and there'll be rioters in my city in no time. So we put the food market straight back. Then it was no biggie. You see, just need to get some food back in there. You're going to see messages saying about how um, the food levels are low. You haven't got to worry about that. We've done two of each of the farms. Plenty of food for all. So even though it will show us messages, oh, you're running low on food, we have plenty. We can forget about food. We can forget about building houses. We are just now waiting for these to evolve up to max level, which they're about to do, which will then trigger the next step for us. Our money at the moment is slowly increasing. Remember, we're trading with uh, Latium. We're selling gold and wood. Remember that we set it to 24 for both to allow room for both of them to go in there. And we're also selling to Gaul, iron. So we've got that going on, that's getting our money up. So once these have both evolved, then I can speed the game up. 
because otherwise we will run through the 30 minute timer. In fact, let's speed it up now. Okay, so now I'm going to play this from the max speed. Okay, this is nearly done. Right. Now, there are trade routes. Our city needs more perfect. workers. This will be perfect as soon as that domus that was destroyed re uh, evolves. And it won't take long. But basically, the one we was concerned about was the plebs. How are we doing for timber? Our city needs. Rome considers your efforts to be mediocre. Nearly there. Very nearly there. Okay, so it's just the case. Right, now you'll see Caesar's asking for 20 weapons. Because I was aware that he was going to be doing that, I started building them. One factory is not enough. I will need two. But of course, I didn't have the workers. So I'm waiting for the to get enough timber, and then I can switch from the timber production to the weapons production. Uh, having two weapons factories is plenty to take care of Caesar's demands. Each year Caesar will demand weapons. He's only going to demand the timber the once. So once the timber's done, it's dusted. Then it's just weapons we will need to focus on. Okay, let's check to see. Rome considers your efforts to be mediocre. There we go, done the timber. So straight away we go to resources there are and trade routes available undo that. that could be advantageous to our city. Our weapons factory will need it. No wood. Now they will have wood. Okay, now what we need to do is I need to build another warehouse. And this is going to be for timber. Why timber? For the weapons factories. Okay, so now I need to build another weapons factory. There we go. Now, I'm going to be short of workers, so the way to counter that, we don't need these anymore. So I'm going to mothball all three, like so, because wood, I've got one collecting wood storage warehouse This for wood here, and another one for wood here for the selling. Now, if we go to the workers, there are trade wood. Our city needs more workers. Perfect. And perfect. Right, so. Yeah, we're going to take a hit on our money soon. But we're not worried about that. Because it will... We're going to be soon having plenty of money. We won't know what to do with it all. Okay, so we're just waiting now for our weapons to build up. They're both going nice and strong. See, here we go. Barbarian hordes. Now we're going to take a hit on um, our favour. So we'll buy them off. If we didn't buy them off, a load of uh, a horde of barbarians would come and start destroying our buildings. Game over. Notice that we've gone into the minus with the money. So our city, Rome considers your efforts oops. to be now a favor with Rome. Must our favor rise for the prestige of our city. Our favor is going to take a hit. Okay, so that's not good, but it doesn't matter. We can recover, and in the future we will have more money than we know what to do with to buy off the barbarian hordes it's just that first time that they appear see not for long and now a favor with we Rome didn't lose must anything rise for the prestige of our city okay so we're just waiting for our weapons now to be manufactured and the demands for weapons is what's going to get us the favor i wish there was an even quicker speed that we could go at because um, i would choose it right now because Trust me when I tell you, my whole city is laid out perfectly. Everything's taken care of. Their happiness, their food, their goods, everything. The only thing we now need to focus 100% on is weapons production. Now, I have got enough... Um, just... Now a favour with... Our city needs more workers. I've got 22 unemployed plebs. What I'm going to do... See, here we go, asking for weapons again. But I didn't have 20. If I'd have had all 20, I could have got a massive jump of um, favour. 
So what I'm going to do is put another weapons factory down. Why? Because I've got enough... I've, I, I had 22 workers. Yes, it's using 63, so... Our city needs more workers. There's a few open jobs, but that is fine. As you can see, a hit of only one worker. Now, though, I'm going to get another set of weapons, which means I will get to the 20 that I need even quicker for the next year. This year, I've suffered just a little in waiting. I won't get as much favour. But next year, game over. We will finish this mission. So I'm just waiting for that. There you go. Our city needs more work. Rome Imperial. considers your efforts to be mediocre. And ship. Now, if we check the Our ratings, favor with Rome must rise for the prestige just need five of our more, city. Which we will get the next year. Because now I've got three weapons factories uh, making weapons. By the time that Caesar asks for weapons again, I will be able to instantly click send. And that will get me the max five favour that's possible and complete this mission. So it's just now a case of waiting for Caesar to demand more weapons. Let's just take a look around our city while we're waiting for that to occur. Notice we didn't need to do the exotic goods. The exotic goods we would have needed to do if um, we didn't get our prosperity high enough. But we have got our prosperity high enough, just to show you. Now a favour with Rome must rise for the prestige We only needed of our 20, city. so we've achieved that. Because we've got 32. If I'd have had only 15 or 18, then I would have started dealing with exotic goods. So basically, they're happy. They're ah, that's not good. A bit of lightning's just. Well, that's all right though. The uh... there you go. He come along and sorted it out. Uh, what was he called? The prefect. The prefect come and put the fire out. So you haven't really got to worry about the lightning, providing that your whole city is covered within the range of your prefects. Now, one way to know whether you've got enough factories for your goods is look at this pottery warehouse. It's full of pottery. So you don't have to really check your advisors with regards to goods. You just go, you look at your warehouse and you can instantly tell whether you've got enough food. You can see there's lots of food in there. See, I've got plenty of pottery, so I know that that's fine. You can see I've got plenty of olive oil. That's fine. Oh, I still didn't have enough. Ugh. Oh well, I'll be able to do it quicker. Okay, so there's his next demand for weapons. Notice there's no more demands for um, wood. So what I can actually do, one of the timber cutting places, mothball it. Then if we check, now a favor labor. With Our city's labor Perfect. system is running fairly smoothly. Yeah, I would say so. Okay, so there we are. That's how you can put that to perfect. Now, as for these goods, um, olive oil's perfect, pottery's perfect. I'm not even going to bother with these other goods. I could do, but the point is, these um, equitets have got to maximum growth. I'm not going to bother with the city walls. That'd be just too much of a pain to evolve them. I've got enough equitets, so I don't need to do that. The same goes for my plebs. I have a perfect amount of plebs. It's like I say, I'm just waiting. Oh, wasting time. Our city's labour system is running. Rome considers your efforts to be mediocre. Now a favour with Rome must rise for the One prestige of our city. Simply because I didn't have all the weapons before he asked for the new set. But it's nailed on the next year. I'd have thought three would have done it, but obviously not. Now I could bribe and finish the episode, but I'm specifically not wasting my savings because there are campaigns where you are so going to need your savings. So that's why I'm trying to build some up. In fact, what I should do and what you should always do is build yourself a governor's estate. I have plenty of money now so I can afford to do this. There we go. What that will do is make an area more desirable. So if we look at to see how bright the green is around it, 
that's what it will do so if you have an area you need to build but it's very undesirable and it has room for your governor's estate you would put it there I've put it here simply because um, it's near then my built up how my, my um, oh for the moment I've forgotten what they're called my richest citizens anyway that's what I'm trying to say these estates I always put my palace near them because they're the ones most important for the desirability so there we are right how are we doing now I'm hoping that we'll have all the weapons before he even asks for them like I said I wish I could go even quicker but there is no quicker speed but the timer hasn't gone yet see my aim my goal is to beat the timer this time no pun intended there by the way but I want to beat the timer that 30 minute timer I've set I do hope I've remembered to set it I know what I'm like yep now I have so I'm hoping to beat that timer here we go next time Caesar asks for the weapons BAM I can give them straight away as for them gold look at that no more worrying about the denarii any more barbarian hordes and they will come again I can pay them, buy them off straight away without giving them a second fall. We're ready for Caesar. That's this mission completed as soon as he asks for them again. So, come on Caesar. I could have built a second gold mine, sure. Do I need to? No, I've got plenty of gold uh, money. But there is later campaigns where you're going to be scratching for every last denarii. And you really are going to want any means to get in denarii. But for now, not of concern for us. I mean, I could uh, halt, mothball a couple more of these timber yards. But there's no need now for me to do or touch anything else. Just let it all just keep running until Caesar gives the demand. You see I'm well on top of the weapons now. I could probably do two years worth by the time he asks for them. Oh, it's getting to date night time. Now, is it January that he'll ask for the weapons? Let's see, the start of the new year. I didn't pay much note to it, what month it was that he asked for the weapons. It's not January, maybe it's May then that he asked for them. Now what happens is the warehouse you can see is full, so the weapons will start now accumulating in the actual factories themselves. Once that gets to max, well, they'll just sit there. But that's okay, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. Getting more money's not going to benefit me, I don't believe in any respect. Maybe in, in the score for completing the campaign. But I'm not playing this to show really great scores. The whole point of this series is to show some of you my way of playing and um, how I manage to progress through each campaign. No doubt some of you do them quicker and better. And some of you get um, trampled. <laughs> but then that's why this is here, to help you. Okay, come on Caesar, ask for these weapons so we can get this over with. I didn't expect Narbo to take three campaigns, to be honest with you. But the last time I played Caesar 4 had to be a three or four years ago, maybe even longer. Um, so I have had a huge break from Caesar 4, but in playing it, it soon comes back to you. It's such an enjoyable game that uh, some of the later campaigns you'll see, you just don't forget them. They're so, enjoy they're, they're so annoying and frustrating when you fail each time, but when you actually succeed and get it completed, it leaves you feeling so rewarded that you just don't forget that campaign. Now there's one campaign I do remember which is a real nightmare and I really don't know how I'm going to record uh, 
episodes completing it because it's real touch and go whether you just completely fail or succeed. So I'll have to see. Well, Caesar should definitely be asking for some weapons, I'm hoping soon. Now a favour with Rome must rise for the prestige Notice of our city. Notice it's gone down one point in one year. So, that's alright. There we go. Oh no, that's the Barbarian Hall. But notice now I've got plenty of money. And by the time they come back again, if they do, I'll have five, seven thousand denarii. So, not a problem. It's the Caesar now. Dragging his heels. I want him to ask for his weapons. I hope he has Now a favour with Rome must... Rome uh, considers your efforts to be... Mediocre. Let my savings build up, like I say. I don't want them to be wasted. So it's actually a good thing that uh, these months and years are rolling on because I'm building up my savings. I know I'm going to finish this campaign. I'm just hoping to beat the timer. The 30 minute timer I've set. I don't want it to run longer than 30 minutes. typical you know if I didn't have any weapons <coughs> excuse me Caesar would be asking for weapons all the time but because he probably knows I've got a warehouse full of them and factories full of them he's just he doesn't want to ask for weapons now look at this it's all full up ready to go but he's just not asking for them weapons You'll notice as well, look, I haven't bothered even touching all of this other space of this map. Lots of it has gone, gone unused. Um, I could, at this point, just carry on adorning my city and making it nicer, but I just want to get this completed now. Narbo, I want to see the back of. Here we go. Bang. Good work, Governor. With the assistance of your able administration, Rome's navy can patrol in force throughout the Mediterranean, and our merchant ships can be found in almost every port of call. Well, there we go. It took a little time, but we did it in the end, and a perfect result. So, I'm happy with that. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. I hope you enjoyed the Narbo campaign. Goodbye.